of $400 billion. What the hell? The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do For it all. For one fighter Close jet? Air support. Hey guys, it's the loud guys. Today we are going to watch US's billion dollar flying aircraft carrier is finally ready for action. Like how is that possible? Like we are not in only getting over the like you know the aircraft carriers that we see on sea. But now we have flying aircraft carriers. I have only see, seen this in Marvel movies you know. I have seen some of the Marvel movies like the Iron Man and all. So I have seen or in the Avengers I saw that. So there was a, that flying aircraft carrier kind of a thing. So that was very very muscular and very you know very powerful. Like if US is building that then it is actually crazy. But you never know in this world like how everything is going on like countries can make sure that they make such technological advancement advancement that the other countries cannot even think about and this looks like one so let's see what is there in this one. and seriously i don't have any idea about aircraft carrier carrier and i don't know how does it looks like and how does it work seriously i'm nil uh, about this video but yeah previously we have seen a lot of video like this and we we are aware about these you know jets and aircraft and all that we we have basically a base little bit base that how does it work and how does it look like and how powerful it is and i must say that the way america is making uh their weapons the uh, the way america is developing on technology we have to say that if uh if uh in the future the wall the war will happen then definitely america gonna win the uh war and previously we have also seen the uh laser uh laser aircraft video and and where we saw that only it's not like that only america is developing but we also got to know about china missiles and all but yeah china is also you know making these kinds of uh, uh weapons but yeah uh, it is not advanced as such as america america is a uh, god of uh, technology of the world so yeah i'm so much excited to watch this video and to know about these aircraft carrier so let's watch this. yeah so flying aircraft carrier is a very shocking thing for us too so let's see what is there in this video Whoa, this is from a Marvel movie. Oh my god. The US Navy is about to become the US Air Force. Huh. Aircraft carriers are about to I become aircraft. Like the I aircraft that take off from them. These aircraft huh. carriers would take off to the skies wow. as opposed to the seas. But for the same reason, to project the might of the US Navy in the brightest colors. Uncommon as the concept of a flying oh, aircraft carrier is, it gosh. isn't a new project and has actually been around since the time of the wow. World Wars. Really? And now, thanks to the advent of technology, they have received renewed attention and the US is once again aiming for revolutionary flying carriers. Oh my god. No. Flying carriers gaining attention at this time could be owed in large part to the complete dominance of American sea-based aircraft carriers mm. today. In fact, 25% of the world's aircraft carriers belong to the US, <laughs> and their total deck space is more than double that of all other nations combined. In addition, the members of the lead USS Ford class of these aircraft carriers are far more lethal than every other aircraft carrier in history, and the following features prove that. Number 3. Nuclear Power Two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors, the most cutting-edge engines created for use on water, Power the USS Gerald Ford. Yes. As a result, the carrier would only need to be refueled years? once over its entire 50 year oh. operational life, wow. as these engines make use of the everlasting nature wow. of nuclear energy. This means USS Ford can run for 25 years at a time oh. without refueling. And with a peak speed of around 30 knots, the supercarrier can access every country on the planet just in time to pay friendly visits to allies and wreak havoc on enemies. <laughs> Number 2. New, new sensors. sensors and processing systems USS Ford features the latest sensors, processors, and weapons needed on an aircraft carrier to maintain that balance of intelligence and lethality. Wow. Unlike virtually every other aircraft carrier in the world, the USS Ford features a single system for both horizon Gerard and Ford volume very search strong. in the form of the ANSPY-3 multifunction radar for X and S-band active electronically scanned array. It remains the most advanced radar system from the U.S. with enough versatility to handle surveillance, air traffic control, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. Out. Number 1. 
American fighter jets, and UAVs. Ooh. Up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, can call the USS Ford home at a time, including the Navy's favorite child, the fifth generation F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter, favorite whose giant. development program remains the most expensive weapons development program of the Pentagon to date, Ooh. with a reported cost of $400 billion. What the heck? The result of such an expensive program is a fighter that really can do For it all. For one fighter Close jet? Close air support, vertical takeoff and landing, and everything in between, it's cementing insane. it as the modern go-to fighter for the Navy and every how, other department of the military. The that is, has. until the sixth generation FAXX fighter friends. takes center stage, of course. And for when that happens, the USS Ford is already equipped with the technologies required to host, launch, and recover it. All wow. of these and many more combined to make the U.S. undefeatable on the seas. It actually... And so an airborne version of them could make the U.S. undefeatable in the skies. No, which man, that would an be scary. Goal. And many programs have been created to achieve this goal. Flying carrier, oh my god. Although real flying carrier concepts may not be as dramatic as the fictional helicarrier of Marvel's shield, oh. they're as close as any's gotten in the last 100 years. And going that far back in time means we say hi to the airships. As far back airships. as 1917, experiments were made with aircraft slung under airships, which we'll call microfighters. These hanging aircraft were there primarily to defend the airships. Oh. But as those airships went out of style, different flying carrier programs came to be, each unique in its own right. Boeing 747 Airborne Aircraft Carrier. The 1970s came with the U.S. Air Force experimenting with the idea of converting one of its large aircraft into a flying aircraft carrier nice. full of parasite fighters that could be deployed and even recovered in mid-air. Among the contenders for this role were the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy and the Boeing But if some country like destroys this plane, Boeing would take the lead when they very correctly costly. pointed out in their proposal that the 747 offered superior range and endurance when flying with a full payload of an impressive 883,000 pounds. Oh. The 747 would therefore be able to carry up to 10 microfighters at a time. Boeing would specially design and build the microfighters to be small enough to be housed within the 747 along with an apparatus that would allow the large plane to carry the fighters a long distance, drop them where they were needed to fight, recover them once again, and refuel them if need be. Wow. But some uncertainties would surface, from the fuel range to how well the Boeing microfighters would fare against the advanced threats they were supposed to square off with. Mm. Ultimately, the proposal never made it off the page of Boeing's report, but the report did establish that despite the challenges, the concept, although likely costly, was actually technically feasible. Nuclear-powered Lockheed CL-1201. This is getting Lockheed, in staying true to their nature mind, of pushing man. the limits, decided to go at a flying aircraft carrier the size of a traditional aircraft carrier. Oh! This aircraft or aircraft carrier would weigh a literal groundbreaking 5,265 tons and oh. stand as tall as a 14-story building. To get such a massive structure to fly, the design included a 1,120-foot wingspan with a 560-foot-long fuselage. That's the length of two and a half Boeing 747s end-to-end. -end. The Lockheed CL-1201 could, however, surprisingly be powered by only four huge turbofan engines, powered by regular jet fuel to an altitude under 16,000 feet. So that is low. At this point, the nuclear energy from an onboard reactor takes over and powers the jet for 41 days straight without refueling or wow. having to land for a second. Wow. That's In insane. fact, the aircraft could maintain a Mach 0.8 cruising speed for this period and fly it around 30,000 feet up. Nice. This massive aircraft would have a crew of 845, be able to deploy 22 multi-role fighters, maintain a hangar bay for repairs, but would also likely cost billions of dollars and far too many labor hours to produce and maintain, yes. which must have contributed to why the aircraft never made it past the proposal stage. Okay. But its concept to this day stands as a historical anomaly that continues to inspire renewed attention from the world. Wow. The B-36 Peacemaker. The B-36 Peacemaker strategic Peacemaker. bomber was another aircraft intended to be upgraded to carry microfighters to launch. Its microfighters would be the McDonnell F-85 Goblin, and it would house up to four of them. 
The B-36 was the ideal pick this time in the 1950s, thanks to its massive size and weight. Its 230-foot wings would dwarf even those of the B-52 Stratofortress and cement the B-36 as one of the largest aircraft to ever take to the skies. Wow. Its weight comes in at an astonishing 410,000 oh, pounds when fully pounds. loaded with fuel and up to 86,000 pounds of weapons. Despite all of these bragging rights, the B-36 would never fly an operational mission, as although it was desired to give the U.S. the capability of bombing Berlin efficiently, World War II would since have ended by the time it was ready. Oh. However, its massive size and range prompted the Air Force to consider its use as a flying aircraft carrier, but that too would not come into fruition as the advent of mid-air refueling dramatically increased the operational range of all varieties of aircraft mm. and ultimately undermined the importance of the range of the B-36 Peacemaker. Lockheed C-130 Hercules C Away from the attempts of the 1900s, the U.S. has relatively recently been looking into a new flying carrier program. Since 2015, the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has been investigating the prospect of using a modified Lockheed C-130 Hercules cargo aircraft to deploy and support Dynetics X-61 Gremlins unmanned aerial vehicles as microfighters. Oh. And on completing their missions, these microfighters are recovered using a proprietary air recovery method involving a drogue-like receptacle and docking technique. Testing is currently being conducted at Dugway Proving Grounds so some with other international thing is continuously air going on in US's the contracted C-130A. In January of 2022, one of these tests saw DARPA successfully launch an X-61 Gremlin Whoa. UAV from the bay of the C-130. Should the test get the checkmark and see the aircraft carrier officially launched, it would enable the U.S. to deploy drones from motherships while still outside of enemy air defenses, oh. allowing the drones to go on and engage targets before returning to the airspace around the mothership to be recaptured and carried home for service or repairs. Wow. However, the tests aren't all rosy, as despite a test showing that the drone could in fact be deployed by the C-130, the drone itself would be ultimately destroyed after an hour and a half of flight that ended in a parachute failure. Oh. But that's likely an easy fix that would be prevented in subsequent tests. With that setback out of the way, the program would continue as planned, facilitate the rise of other similar programs, and ultimately give the U.S. the power of a supercarrier in the sky to complement an already powerful fleet of aircraft carriers. Wow. And according to experts, this fleet of aircraft carriers and flying carriers would get even more powerful. What, uh, what an was seriously I like the whole video and uh, there were literally crazy beast which we just saw and uh, there were beast who you know refuel in 25 years when I got to know I was literally my mind was blown up and I was you know very shocked that how could this happen uh, because uh, previously we have seen a lot of videos and we got to know that mo most of the you know uh, jets uh, and uh, uh, aeroplanes and all required to fuel in after uh, six or uh, six hours uh, you know flight or seven hours but it is crazy one uh, it uh, it requires refuel in 25 years and when I you know uh, heard about the price of it I was literally I was I got shocked again because its price is 400 billion and you after you know watching these videos you could imagine that you you can get an idea that how uh, the wealthy uh, the america is if if it can you know uh, afford 400 billion dollars uh, aircraft and 1300 billion aircraft then you could imagine that how powerful and how wealthy the america is and as an indian sometimes it feels so bad that why we indians are not that much developed and why we are not you know uh, so wealthy uh, and it also feels sad sometimes when we see here the situation it feels so sad that uh, 
there is america one side who is developing so much and who is living in the 22nd century and here we are who, who is you know uh bragging up for the food so sometimes it sucks and but we cannot do anything uh if we want to you know uh develop our country uh as much as america so we have to do hard work without hard work we cannot get it and i hope i wish that we indians could also you know afford uh these jets and all uh so yeah i really like this video and literally it was an insane video yeah at the start of the video i said that i have seen one of the aircraft carrier in a you know a marvel movie but yeah and he said in in this the same in this video but the thing was like i think so aircraft carriers are too or like flying aircraft carriers are way too costly for even us to think about they have thought about it they have made designs about it but i think so to carry it out and to make sure to make something like huge like that because they were saying about it like there was one fighter jet on that they had spent 400 billion dollars on the research itself so that shows just to make a like a proper uh, uh, fly, fighting jet that can just land on to the aircraft carrier and that can land vertically horizontally and it can do all the things so as to do that they had to spend so much money so for to make an aircraft carrier flying aircraft carrier i think so they would have to spend about a trillion dollars or so <coughs> on the research and everything and then they will have the complete package of it and even then you don't know how it will work what will happen but if they build, build it then i think so there is nothing that can compare to the might of usa but it just shows what the thinking goes into like the us military they are always on the run they are always making short sure new and new things come into it and i think so russia and china should be completely like afraid of it because they are they should always be like okay we are not going to fight usa because in the end we are going to get killed that is only going to happen there is no chance that usa might get damaged or usa might be in the problem so that is i think so china is also curtailed a bit because of the us presence so i think the so us should continue its power so what do you guys think about it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.